Hey honey buns, what's good y'all? It's your girl A Chanel and I'm coming to y'all today with a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial, okay? And um, y'all know I always go in with my witch hazel first to kind of clean and moisturize my face. Y'all please don't mind me chewing this gum. I just had to, you know, get my mind right. And this one of my ways to get my mind right. Um... But yes, y'all, this is my first Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. And I'm really just about to freestyle, y'all. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I just knew I was going to go for it and I was just going to slay, okay? And now, um, I'm just going to do my little old school thing with the tape. I really don't have to use tape, y'all, but I try to do it for most of the beginners that's out here in the makeup world. And this is optional. You know, if you want that clean, crisp look, once you snatch that tape off, then that's what you do. And so first off, okay, y'all, so I'm going in with my Julius Place Masquerade Palette. And at first, I'm going to use those section of colors right there. Um, I think those are some pretty Valentine's Day colors to start with. And so that first purple color I'm going to start with is called Zobo. And I'm going to use that for my transitioning color. Like, I just feel like that lighter purple was a good start. And so, I'm just going to do windshield wiper motions. And I'm going to let my colors build up. You will see what I'm talking about. Okay, y'all. And so, for this next color, I'm going to go in with that pink color called Bori. And I'm going to put that on top of Zobo. And this is where I start letting my colors build up. So, oh yeah, y'all. I forgot to mention that I did my eyebrows off camera. Actually, my eyebrows were already done earlier in the day when I was at um hair school. And I pretty much had to get a grade for doing eyebrows. So, I was like, let me just do my own for a grade. And I was pretty much teaching um, a few students and the instructor how to do eyebrows. So, that's why my eyebrows were already on. I wanted to take them off so bad for this video. But I was just like, you know, why not? I don't even have on any makeup like that. My eyebrows are already done. So, hey, you know, I'm going to have plenty of other videos, and I do have other videos of me doing my eyebrows. So, y'all, charge charge this one to the game for me. Please don't come for me. Let me make it, okay? Thank you. All right, so that purple color next I'm using is a Makita. And I'm using this same MAC brush, y'all. Yes, I know it's different brushes for different things. But that's why I got this makeup spray to wipe it off and put some old color on there, okay? So, if I feel like it's going to get the job done with one um beauty brush, then that's what I'm going to do. All my other makeup looks been just fine. And, you know, I'm going to rock out with this one. And so, I'm just going to take that purple and put it on the edge. And I'm going to take a little bit across the top. Just a little bit. Okay, y'all. So, this next color I'm using out of my Profusion Beauty Queen palette. And um, that shade actually doesn't have a name. This is something. This is a palette that I got from Five Below, y'all. And I'm just going to take that lighter purple across the top. And I'm just steady building on to my... um. My beginning, my beginning color. So I'm not doing too much. Not too much. Okay, so 
now I'm just taking a wipe and I'm wiping off that concealer that I had based down on my lid because next I'm about to go in with my NYX white eyeshadow base to create the NYX um, look. And I really wasn't trying to do a cut crease. I was pretty much just trying to get that part white enough so that I can do what I was going to do right there. But I mean, it could be a cut crease, but at the same time, I really wasn't trying to because... When I do my cut creases, I really be focused, y'all. Like, I'm going to take that brush and I'm just going to drag it through. And I'm really going to be focused, like I said. So, right here, I'm really just trying to put it up there, like I said. Next, I'm going in with my Perfusion Beauty Book from Five Below also. And I'm going to go in with that white eyeshadow. So I want to put that white eyeshadow on top first. And I'm pretty much using that white eyeshadow as like a second base because I'm about to get ready to apply some white glitter on top. And I'm hoping that the camera can pick that up because of right now, the way it's looking, y'all, I... I I hate my light and I promise I'm going to do something about it. I promise I am because like this video ain't doing no justice. Like y'all should have seen. Yep, going across the top of the crease. Like, I wanted, like, a little bold part right there, but not too bold. And so, after I do this one, y'all, I am going to take my lavender um, eyeliner. It's not a game. It's a
Now I'm going back in with my um, Nikki K concealer in the shade number four. And I'm just going to highlight my under eyes. And I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose and my forehead and my chin. Y'all know how it go. I already know y'all know how it go. Because y'all going to come in below and be like, hey, Chanel taught me. We know how this go. Period. Okay, honey buns. And ain't nothing like using a good old wedge from Dollar Tree, okay? You get a whole bag of 28 for a dollar and 25 cents. Y'all ain't that crazy how Dollar Tree just went up like that? Like, did nobody tell you to add them four quarters to that? <laughs> but yes, y'all, I'm going in with my Lux Pro Banana Powder and I'm just setting that contour. Yeah, I really don't bake like that no more. Like, I'm sure it's probably some people who still bake, but I don't even finna do all that. Look, I be having to go, okay? And I ain't even going over.
I envy lashes, I love them. You can't beat it for six dollars. But I'm just really about to start ordering a whole pack off Amazon or AliExpress or something. Y'all tell me if y'all do that and use them for y'all self.